Bashir was welcomed at the airport in Juba by Kiir. Bashir is in South Sudan for talks that are expected to focus on border disputes and the delayed Abia referendum. Abia was meant to vote on whether to be part of Sudan or South Sudan in January 2011 as part of the 2005 peace deal which ended Sudan's civil war. But a referendum to decide the region's fate has been repeatedly stalled. Both sides are hoping this last meeting will yield success. We hope that uh, the visit of the president this time, of President Bashir this time in South Sudan, will generate mutual trust and mutual uh, benefit for the two countries. In Sudan, we have a technical committee to discuss the protocols of the agreement. As far as the opening of the border is concerned, there are many parties involved, like the Ministry of Trade and Commerce and Interior Security. There is need to coordinate between these sectors, both in Sudan and South Sudan. Trade, security and oil issues were also on the president's agenda for the one-day visit with more than 50 officials including senior ministers and businessmen accompanying Bashir. Bashir and Kir met in talks in Sudan last month. While Bashir last visited South Sudan in April, his first visit since independence and which followed a furious row over the shutdown of crucial oil exports as well as deadly border clashes last year. When South Sudan split away in 2011, it took with it oil fields accounting for 75% of the reserves. The landlocked South complained that Sudan was demanding too much to use its pipelines and port facilities, and the shutdown cost both countries billions of dollars. Robert Soy, CCTV.